I'm straight out of Compton. What we call <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Dando's Korea. It is Sunday. Just a second, I got the wrong hat on. Much better, okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dando's Korea. It is Sunday morning. It is a long weekend. Monday is a holiday. I am in a place called Jongsan, Jongsanmyeon. My intention was to stay in Buya last night. I wasn't planning on actually leaving on a trip until Sunday morning, but I don't know, I was bored. Saturday night and so I got in the car late by the time I got to Booyah I couldn't find a motel room either there was no parking because the downtown motel area was packed with people and cars or there was no rooms on the on motels on the outskirts so I ended up driving an extra 30 minutes north just to find a motel anyway the plan today I'm gonna go to Booyah I had a request actually to go to Booyah and I have been wanting to go to Booyah 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 for quite a while as I was driving through the city last night and around the outskirts uh, there is way more there than I thought. I'm not gonna be able to do even a fraction of it because I am meeting some people for dinner tonight in Daejeon. Can you guess who it is? All right, let's get in the car and we will head to Booyah. Booyah. I fixed my Hawaiian dancer. She's missing a hand though. I'm in Booyah now. I am right across from Sedong Park. Unfortunately guys, I only have a few hours in Buya. Just doing a quick search online, I saw that there is a ton of things to see around here. A quick list. Buso Mountain Fortress, Jungnisima Temple and Museum, Buya National Museum, which has been recommended to me and I do plan on going there at some point. Sedong Park, which is right there. Baekje Historical Park, Baekje Royal Tombs Park, Muryangsa Temple. Oh, there's some rocks. Salbawi and Surabawi, interesting rock formations. Sodonggyo Theme Park, Songhung Sansong. That might be where they have this love tree. There's a love tree around here somewhere too. And another fortress. Chongmasan Song Fortress and hiking trails through the mountain. This place has a ton of stuff. So I've decided I'll see this park. I might check out one other spot, but I promise you I'm coming back to this place a little bit more prepared. It's really hot today. Oh, I'm sweating. I should be sitting in the shade. Yeah, not exactly the best time of year for this kind of park. Everything's really brown. I'm not really up on my botany. Is this a locust tree? Locust trees, locust plants. Wildlife. There's no shortage of fish in this little pond here. So, there's a love story here. Once upon a time during the Baekje era, He took her to the Baekje kingdom and they settled down together. He became King Mu. She was his queen and they lived happily ever after. What a nice story. Rivaling kingdoms, hooking up with a dragon. Interesting. Hmm. 
Look at the size of this lily pad. Yep, I definitely picked the wrong time to come. I think early summer, or even midsummer, oh, no, too hot in midsummer. Early summer, late spring, I think this place would be pretty amazing. I think that's enough of Sodong Park. A lot of friendly people walking around. I got lots of smiles and some waves from the kids. I'm gonna sit in the van, I'll get on the phone, and figure out where I'm gonna go. I never know what I'm doing on these trips. I really gotta plan these out a little bit better. I usually just wing it. But that's kind of the way I like doing it. It's just kind of showing up to a place, not knowing what to do, just find something. That's the way I like to roll. A few moments later. Okay, I got in the car, I checked the map. There's no point in me going and parking somewhere else. I'm just gonna leave the car parked here and walk around Buya for an hour or so. Yeah, I was walking the wrong way. This way. What I can tell you about this place is that it's old. The former name is Sabi, and it was the capital city of Bekje Kingdom from 538 to 660. The capital city was near Seoul, but it was getting overcrowded, so they moved the capital city of Bekje from near Seoul to here. They built a fortress, I forget the name, Gu Gu Guri Gumi Song or something like that, and that's about all I know. That is a first. I went in, they took my temperature, I did the whole sign-in thing, saying where I'm from, my phone number, and then there's a second desk where the guy was asking for a booking, I guess, to come to this museum during this weekend or COVID, I'm not sure, but you need a book in advance to go to the museum. I didn't know that. So, I guess I'm gonna walk around the outside and see what they got. I don't know what that's about, but someone left her some lunch. What's going on here? Seems like an odd place to dry out your food. Weird. Just look at all the historic stuff around here. I gotta make another trip down here. Well, you're never far away from something in Buya. I've been seeing a lot of turtle stuff, like turtle statues. I wonder what the connection is with Booyah. So I think we're going to a temple. I think it's a temple and not a fortress. These things are everywhere. Look, another one over here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks all closed up. None of the doors are open. 
Looks like a temple. Wow, look at this. Ignore all the construction equipment. I don't know why it's closed. Usually temples are open during the day. This is strange. It feels like I'm walking on someone's private driveway or walkway. Is this what an Olay is called? I think this is an Olay, like a, a walkway to the street. Oh my goodness, where am I going? Definitely off the beaten path now. Can you guys see that? I'm glad I spotted that and didn't walk right into it. That would have been right at face level. A giant spider. Whew. Okay. Those are dogs. I just saw some dogs in some very small cages. It looked like it could have been a little dog meat operation. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that, but it does happen. I'm glad I'm off that little walkway. I felt like I was intruding on someone's private property. Oh, here's another temple. Yeah, I don't see a lock on the door, but the doors are shut, so I'm definitely not gonna be walking in there. Booyah, very interesting place. All right, we're back into civilization. So. I'm gonna get. Whoa, look at those spiders. Whoa! Musa Wall. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. What's your name? Yi Chung Huan. Chung Huan? Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Dan. What's your name? Yi Chung Huan. I <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> I was walking by, I saw two kids admiring the spider webs and the spiders. And so I had a little chat with them and met their folks. Nice little family. So if you guys ever watch this, hello again. I don't know what's in that wall. Let me check on my phone. It's another museum, but I gotta get the day John. So I think that'll be it for Booyah. Oh, bye-bye guys. <laughs> there they are. Ah, oh, nice family. I am in Daejeon. I am staying at Hotel Awesome. I picked it because of the name. And I've got a couple hours before I'm meeting people. I don't want to do a whole lot of walking around, but I will stop and get a beer at a convenience store and chat with you guys about Daejeon. I haven't found any convenience stores or cafes. I guess I'm not in the right part of town for that. We'll go check out the river though. John has a subway. I didn't know that. And a Burger King and a Subway sandwiches. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me with all this traffic going on behind me. Cheers. So I've been here, I think this is my fourth time. I haven't been here a few years. I really don't know much about it. I do know it is known as the Silicon Valley of Korea. One reason there's a ton of universities around here, one specifically is KAIST, K-A-I-S-T, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. I do know that there's also a science museum. I looked at the time and it was closing at 5.30 today. There's no way I was gonna make it in. Okay, let's learn a little bit about Daejeon. Daejeon, South Korea. This is how I do all my research. According to Wikipedia, Daejeon is South Korea's fifth largest metropolis. Fifth largest. Uh, let's see if I can guess what the other four that are bigger. Seoul, Busan, Incheon. Is Daegu bigger than Daejeon? It might be Daegu or it might be Suwon. Let's do a search. 
list of 10 biggest cities in Korea. Okay, so Seoul's the biggest, Busan second, Incheon, and then Daegu, and then Daejeon. Oh, and then Gwangju. Gwangju's bigger than Suwon, I didn't know that. But let's see what it's got. Daejeon has 18 universities, including KAIST. Daejeon has earned its name as Asia's Silicon Valley. Not just Korea's, but Asia's Silicon Valley and high technology city. The city hosted the Daejeon Expo 1993 and the International Mathematics Olympiads. Wow, I didn't know there was such a thing as the International Mathematical Olympiads. It looks like there's a bunch of research and development. Oh, there's a zone. Daedoc Research and Development Special Zone is composed of 28 government-funded research institutions, as many as 20,000 researchers. So if you're in R&D, this is a place to be. That's not my realm of expertise. The 15 best things to do in Daejeon. A Yusong Hot Springs public foot bath. That's probably closed now because of Corona. The Hanbat Arbitorum. No, Arboretum. I can speak English, guys, I promise. It looks nice. I uh, just, I'm not gonna make it there today. A Daejeon O World, I don't know what that is. Jang Taesan Natural Forest. I don't think that's in the city. I think that's out of the city. Uh, Daejeon Museum of Art for all you art folk. That's not me. Sky Road. What is Sky Road? Oh, that looks cool. Where is that? Oh, it's on the other side of the river. What else we got? It says one of the top things to see and do in Daejeon is the Daejeon Metro. I don't know why they would include that. Yurim Park. Gejoksan Mountain Red Clay Trail. The Expo Bridge, I've seen that, and at night it's lit up, it's quite nice. So that's day, John. I'm gonna finish this beer, and then I'm gonna head back to the motel. My guests should be arriving sometime soon, I think, and then we'll be going out to dinner together. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's about three hours later, and my guests haven't arrived. They are stuck on a mountain. Their intention was to do a, a short three-hour hike, and they are not finished yet. And it's raining now. Oh my God, now it's really raining. Uh, yeah, it's just started raining like crazy. By the way, the person I'm supposed to meet tonight is James. James is gonna introduce me to his wife tonight, but they're having issues on the mountain. <laughs> okay, I just got a message from James. He says, finally off the trail on a paved road, heading back to the car. We picked up a soldier that was on his own, so he's gonna join us also. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a good night. James just arrived about four hours later than he was supposed to. They picked up a hitchhiker on the way? I don't know. Ah, come somebody, uh, thank you. I think they're here. <laughs> they're, yeah, yeah, Chingu. Hey. <laughs> How was your day? It was yeah. a day. Yeah, that's what it sounds like it. This is Justin. Hey, Justin, I got your key. Oh, perfect. Uh, you're in 702. All right, thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, same here, same here. Justin, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, from, from where? I'm from Texas. I'm Texas? at Camp Humphreys right now. Okay. Oh, that's near me. Sorry, right, Janine. Hi. Nice right. to meet you finally. I know. You guys are on YouTube now. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> howdy, howdy. What's up? We'll just start opening up. We'll, we'll do uh, the milk salon first. We're ready. Okay, guys, grab your sojus. Cheers. Gambe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is this your first barbecue? Oh yeah. First Korean His barbecue. First yeah. Korean barbecue. <laughs> so what you, what you can do is take a piece of lettuce. Yeah. So I do this, I do a little bit of this. I like the wasabi. And some of this stuff. I'm a Texas boy, just kind of wrap it like a yeah. burrito or just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shove it in your mouth, man. <laughs> no, no chopsticks in Texas? <laughs> When I order Chinese, they give us it, or I try to figure it out, I just get upset and I'm just like, nah. I just use the plastic fork or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, we rescued Justin on the trail today. What were you gonna do, man? <laughs> I'm away. Do you have like a like a pack with a, uh, like a tent in it and everything? <laughs> no, so I just have like some jackets that would be like good for, for rain. I have water and Gatorade on me, so I would have been able to like stay hydrated. I'm in the army, man. Like I can, you know. I'm in the like, army, man. How long have you been in the army? Just one year. Okay. About okay. 11 months, yeah. I could find a little cave to just sleep in. Because it was starting to rain, so I was actually.
you worry. Oh but. my gosh, that was so awful. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Pepper Jack. <laughs> Pepper Jack. Uh, 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 oh my god, my feet are killing me today. Who's, who's got blisters? Uh, we haven't taken our socks off yet. I have you tried any of these peppers yet? Dude, it's very refreshing. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not like we breathe fire or anything. <laughs> Dan, how does it feel? You're like outnumbered right now. American the Canadian? Yeah. <laughs> I've felt like a minority you? everywhere I went for a while. You know what? Yeah, I've been a minority for the last 11 years. <laughs> you ever seen a moose? In no. real life? Yeah. Not in real life. They're huge. Are they too? Cheers. Come back. I'm honestly glad I met y'all. <laughs> right? We're all where we need to be for a reason. Yeah. I'm straight out of uh, Compton. Out of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the next day. This is Dan Does Korea. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs>